Hey guys, Bunky's back with a beautiful blue vanguard because we're rocking the Asari. Now, yeah, I've skipped over the Drell. You might have noticed I'm skipping a few characters. They're just ones I don't play because mechanically I'm kind of rocking something similar with somebody else. Um, and basically, here in, the, here in the Drell vanguard are just all about charging in and nading all things. Um, you can debate all day and night about who's the best out of the two of them. The, the, she's got a couple of advantages over the Drell. I mean... Uh, she's, she can set up her own explosions, which the uh, Drell Vanguard simply can't. If he's going to detonate anything, it's his teammates, primers. Um, I'm not going to take. I'm not going to capitalize on that. So uh, let me show you the build. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, biotic charge is going to be very much the same as I was rocking with my Nova Guard. You're going to want radius to stagger groups of enemies that you charge into. You're going to want power synergy, but this is going to be really important. And then, of course, you want barrier. Then, so you've got some nice. Um, Shields or you know barriers when you when you're in the in the fray there. Now power synergy is going to be amazing on this character because obviously it gives you that forty percent uh, power damage increase for ten seconds, right? And that's just going to synergize so beautifully with our uh, lift grenades because those things hit hard. They really do. Now I don't spec into stasis, uh, not anymore. Anyway, not anymore because uh, I used to spec into stasis for this character before we were a able to stagger phantoms, because before it was literally only the Krogan Vanguard, the uh, Battle Master, was able to get her off a footing. The other characters weren't able to build up enough uh, force in their biotic charge. So, you know, you would charge into the phantom and then you'd be in a lot of trouble. You should, you're even stabbing distance. So, I used to stasis them first, then charge in. That'd be a biotic explosion. I could also just throw a grenade at them and create another biotic explosion. But now, I can charge in, stagger her, hit her with a lift grenade. It's all I need. I don't really need to I'm going to say waste. I don't need to waste those points because I'm not the only enemy I would stasis is the Phantom, and I don't need to anymore. Um, of course, you can still build stasis. You really can. I'd recommend it the same that I do with my Adept. You want to have stasis strength so they take more damage. For the fourth evolution, I'm still going to recommend recharge speed, um, but you could go for uh, the bonus power. Um, I don't like to leave stuff up to luck. I really don't, because uh, I just don't have any, to be perfectly honest. But a 30% chance of not causing a cooldown would mean that you could stasis and instantly charge in. And then you could obviously follow that charge up with a lift grenade and just do a ton of damage. It would be a biotic explosion starting off your whole attack there. But, um, you know, you can just go with a recharge speed, because, uh, you know, you've got a lift grenade. You can detonate with a lift grenade. The lift grenade doesn't require a cooldown. In your final evolution, you are going to want bubble. That gives the stasis better crowd control. You've got a better chance of hitting. Well, you can hit multiple targets if you take bubble. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not taking stasis at all. Now, here's the lift grenade. Lift grenades are powerful as sin. Uh, for the first evolution, take damage and make it even more powerful. I mean, once you've got to this stage, you've already got a 5 meter radius. That is more than enough to just wreck uh, rooms of enemies. Uh, you just don't need the extra radius. I'm not going to recommend you do that because you can do so much damage if you don't. Now, the next evolution is easy. Take the max grenades because the, the duration evolution is quite possibly the most pointless evolution in the entire game. Yeah, basically, because what lift grenades do, they lift enemies. No shit, right? But only enemies without any kind of protection. No shields, no barriers, no armor. So, and basically, the enemies that don't have those things that are hit by uh, lift grenades are dead. They're not going to be alive. The, grenade, the lift grenades do too much damage for those kind of enemies. Even, like, on platinum, I mean, uh, there might be a little scraggling survivor with, like, a bar of health. But, you know, I'm sorry. If they haven't got any protection, lift grenades going to kill them. So it's pointless lifting their corpses into the air. And that's going to make the next evolution just as simple because slam is only going to work on lifted targets. Like, I mean, <laughs> like I said, you've got corpses in the end. If they're alive, they really don't need anything else. Um, literally, just go for damage and radius. Now you've got 6.5 meters, and we're doing a ton of damage with these. We've already got the, you know, the power bonus from Biotic Charge, but then we're going to look at the Asari's passives, and we're going to take damage in capacity and power damage, and now we've got another 45% power damage bonus. The lift grenades are just getting stronger and stronger as we go on, guys. Like, I can't stress that enough. Um, I haven't got stasis, so I'm going to treat myself to a little bit of weapon damage so I can gun in between my uh, the recharge speed and my Biotic Charge. And then I'm, with my fitness, I'm going to take all health and shields. So that's durability, shield, recharge, fitness expert. Now I've got 825 health and barriers. If I was to go with the stasis build, you're going to want to max out all three of those powers and just have three points in fitness. You're going to be a lot squishier, and you're obviously not going to have the weapon damage either. So you can get those three points of fitness, because you do need some. 
you are right in the thick of it. Vanguards take a lot of the aggro. Um, but again, that's just another reason why I, I opt out of stasis. I can take more aggro now than um, you know a stasis uh, a sorry Vanguard could. Now, for the weapons, I'm going to be rocking the talent on this one. Um, I always did, but now it's even better, because now I can rock the power magnifier on this bad boy. Uh, look at that, that's another 30% damage power uh, buff to it. So, yeah, the, those lift grenades are going to hurt, I'm telling me now. Um, you, I put the heavy barrel on as well. It's a non-DLC weapon, so it's not going to be affected at all by that extra weight, don't you worry. But, you know, you um, what we want to be doing with the Asari's gun, you want stopping power, you want to strip shields, and you want to apply, um, a, like, an elemental ammo. Because uh, that just works great for all vanguards. It absolutely does. So, you know, the Scorpion's going to work great for applying ammo. I think I say this every time I talk about it, but in case this is the first time you've seen one of my vids, you're in the know now. And the Acolyte is one of the best couplings for a, uh, a vanguard really just completely take out the shields the master at it it's got like a 500 percent uh damage increase to shields and barriers so yeah you're going to hit any enemy their shields are going to be gone they're going to be on fire they're going to be electrocuted they're going to be frozen you charge in you're going to get that kind of explosion with them um and again another reason why i don't need stasis because <laughs> phantoms hate the acolyte um, you know, you've, you can get the same kind of result though with uh, certain shotguns, like the Wraith, that's got a ton of stopping damage, uh, well, stopping power, sorry, and it does a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, you can go with that. Um, you know, if you're one of those people and likes to role play, you can go ahead and use the Disciple. I mean, its damage is, like, pitiful, to be perfectly honest, and it's stopping damage, uh, it's stopping power, sorry, I keep mixing them up. It's stopping power is not really there to be honest but it will work on this character you can go ahead and use the disciple if you wanted to and the piranha is going to work too i mean it's a oh, super lightweight uh, that's just going to it works really nice for vanguards because it, it chews through armor and stuff going to help you out there and you know this is a this is a grenade kit so um recharge speed isn't all that important you could go with something like the Riga Carbine uh, that's actually a fantastic vanguard weapon I mean this this Riga Carbine is probably the best uh, like in your face damage uh, of all the guns and who's more in your face than a vanguard the thing is though I'd still only really recommend that for your weapon synergy sort of vanguards and your power synergy ones you're not going to be doing enough shooting to take advantage of that but you know if you really wanted to just gun as hard as you do power, you can also go ahead and probably stick the Harrier or something on her. Okay. Um, you can use SMGs. Uh, you really can. They, they do work for them. They do a lot of DPS. So they do get the enemy, you know, affected by whatever ammo type you're rocking. You know, you can use the Hurricane and the Collector SMG as usual. But I would recommend some stopping power if you're a Sari because she's so squishy. You do just want to sort of stagger the enemy. You want to keep them off their feet as much as possible. And with you know, when you've got a gun with a lot of stopping power, your biotic charge and your lift grenade, you can essentially keep them off their feet constantly. Uh, right, let's just jump into the equipment and to get this all complemented and good to go. Like I've been saying, guys, so for your ammo bonus, you want elemental ammo. Uh, ultimately, the best one's going to be in Sindri. It does damage over time. It does a lot of damage on contact. Uh, fire explosions are amazing. It's the best ammo, really. Um, but you, I'm going to use Disruptor for this game just because I've got a ton of it. And uh, I get it quite a lot from the store. So I'm going to save myself some uh, in Sindri for another build, actually. Um... You can go ahead and use armor piercing if you wanted, so you can, uh, you know, really battle with the bosses. But no, I still recommend you stick with the elemental ammo. Um, for your armor bonus, you can go ahead and use a cyclonic modulator. It's going to make you a bit tougher. It's going to help you survive out there. Um, it's going to be kind of essential if you end up against the Geth enemy faction, because they'll stag you and ruin your day. And you probably want to be rocking a cyclonic modulator when you take this build to platinum. But um, for everything else, uh, take a power amplifier. I mean, that's another 50% uh, power damage again on top of everything that we're building up here. So we're going to just wreck stuff with our lift grenades. We really, really are. Uh, your gear bonus, I'm just really, I'm going to say, take the grenade capacity, guys. We are all about our grenades. There's, there's, <laughs> there's little else to us, to be perfectly honest. And there's nothing wrong with that, as you're about to see. I mean, if you haven't got grenade capacity or you're, thinking, or you're focusing more on doing your weapon stuff, like I said, with the Reg and the Harrier, you can go ahead and take the Shock Trooper and Warfighter ones. But I'm literally, you want the grenade capacity, to be honest, guys. Now, you can go ahead and do exactly the same thing with the Drell. Uh, you really can. There's, these characters 
work exactly the same, to be perfectly honest. But um, I just see a few more advantages with the Asari over him. And I'll go through them during the gameplay. So go ahead, stick the rail lamp you need on, and let's jump into that. All right, let's go. I'm with uh, Domino's again, and there's the two pugs with us. I've uh, I've set the enemy and the map. I've given us Firebase London and Cerberus because there just isn't enough Cerberus gameplay in uh, in my series so far. I'm just getting a ton of Reapers and Collectors, and I don't know if you're sick of seeing them, but I'm definitely sick of playing them. I mean, Reapers and Collectors are essentially the same thing. It's like Collectors are just reapers in hard mode didn't they let's be let's be honest they, they you know they're, they're equally as aggressive they're mechanically the same yeah i'm kind of sick so i have a, we need more cerberus in this in this series so i've just gone ahead and picked them and um obviously this is a chance to knock london off um it'll be nice though once this is all done to be honest so i can go back to my unknown enemy and unknown map uh it's just the way i like to play keep it uh surprising don't know if you've uh caught up with dom's uh Banshee screams of the week, but uh, a great comp quote from our friend Grumperman. <laughs> it's uh, what was it? Uh, so it was something. It was something quite, uh, quite deep, quite special. Something like uh, the element of surprise is best used against you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, Grump. We have fun. You gotta check out those Banshee screams of the week. They're really funny thing stuff, actually. All right then, but let's uh, let's take a look at uh, London. Uh, now I'm not a huge fan of London, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's just me. It's like there's there's a few, there's a few tricks to it that you really need to get yourself aware of. It's like the the central zone in London is a complete and utter death zone. It's just there's no cover. The enemy will surround you, and you're going to get yourself gunned down. You do want to keep yourself out of there as much as possible. Stick to the outskirts. There's uh, there's loads of cover on the outskirts, and you know. And that's how you control the map. And don't fall prey to the trap that is the balcony. It, that is not a good place to defend unless you've got some like demolishes on your side, to be honest. Because there's no ammo up there, guys. You're going to just... You, yeah, you've got a great vantage point of the whole map. And, uh, you know, the enemy are going to have to slowly climb their way up to you. But the problem is you're going to run out of ammunition. And the only way to get ammunition is to go down the stairs where all the enemy are coming up. So you're going to have to fight your way back down for ammo when you don't have any ammo. So it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Don't go down. Don't stay up in the balcony. Use it, but don't stay there. You literally want to just sort of be dancing around the outskirts here. Um... But yeah, I hope you can notice literally what's going on here. I'm just charging in and I'm throwing a grenade, <laughs> sorting them out. See now with the uh, I, what I used to rock with the talents, actually I used to have the piercing mod and the heavy barrel, and it was solely for guardians. But as you can see, I can charge the guardians, stagger them. That's going to move their shield out of the way, and I can just gun them that way. I can also just simply throw a lift grenade behind them, and that's going to take them out, like you just saw there. Um, so yeah, it definitely take, starts putting the power magnifier on this on your pistols, guys, because this just there's a ton of power damage to be done there. Yeah, lovely stuff. <coughs> now, like like I said, I um even though I don't play the Drell Vanguard, it's not because he's a bad character. The Drell Vanguard's actually amazing. Um, it's your preference, to be honest. I mean, I um to be honest, I think if I Pick the Drell first, because the Asari Vanguard was like the first Vanguard I ever played. And, uh, you know, she's just always kind of been on my rotor, to be honest. And uh, once I had her going the way I liked, there was just no reason for me to pick up the Drell afterwards, because they're, they're mechanically very this, very similar. I mean, uh, she's got her... I've mentioned a couple of advantages she has over the Drell, and there's a couple more. It's like the lift grenades are a damn sight more accurate than cluster grenades. Those things can go all over the fucking place. They, they, they can. You can do your best, and you can... You know, if you stay close, you're going to get the best results but they can just sort of be quite erratic and you're going to lose a lot of damage that way um also the asari dodge is like the best in the game so you can really just sort of charge in on banshees and then you can just sort of like um dodge out of it out of that mess in a in a second like in the blink of an eye and you know you're going to just be able to survive better i mean the, the kung fu flips of the drill they're they're you know they're cool they're funky and they're good actually there's a lot of damage reduction and stuff in them but it's not as good as the asari's but you know there's there's advantages the drill has over the asari i mean drills just put out a lot more damage than your average uh you know 
average kit. They are they're the, they're the hard hitting ones, like the Geth. Um, they're extra squishy, but they're really, really powerful. And when you've got biotic charge, the squishiness is just negligible. Yeah, so you don't really have to worry about it that much. And the cluster grenades hit harder than lift grenades if you get them to hit right. <laughs> look at that guy's corpse. I had to, had to take a second look, to be honest. So, yeah, it's like the Drell Vanguard is incredible, and she's really good. Um, I think if you were really just going to try and maximize the amount of damage you do, the Drell would probably work out better. But um, I just said, I, I've, I'm, I'm comfy with the, the Asari, and I, 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 I cannot, unless I can find something uh, really unique and interesting to do with the Drell Vanguard, I don't see myself building him in the future. Yeah. Um, Go ahead and uh, try the Drell Vanguard. Uh, absolutely, it, literally, just take the kit I've given you today. You're going to spec your, um, you're going to spec your cluster grenades for damage. Uh, <laughs> you know, like I did with my Drell Adept. You want that, except you probably wouldn't want damage combo because you're not, uh, you're not priming anything. Just go for the extra grenades, and yeah, you, you're good to go. You're going to do a ton of damage. Uh, rock the same guns, same equipment. It's everything you need. Uh, right, um, this I got a confession to make though, guys. This is like uh, this is a, re a repeat uh, shooting of this video. I did because um, right now I'm uploading um, the Vulture and the Geth Infiltrator video today, and uh, originally I was planning to just get this little trilogy out. Um, I ended up just wanted to re. I did want to just in the end. I decided to re-record the Asari Vanguard video just because the gameplay wasn't great. I mean, I I did fine. The score was good. Uh, I killed things, um, but I really didn't show. I didn't give you her full potential. I felt I I felt I felt I could do better. So here I am. I'm doing better. <laughs> to be honest. Um, last time I played though, I was playing with my buddy Grump actually, and it was it was the day of the the big um, balance change and uh, he actually came in with the new talent and uh, yeah that was <laughs> I was impressed um, mainly because I saw the Omni bow in the kill feed <laughs> that, th that thing actually kills stuff now oh my god so yeah I'm going to have to give I'm definitely going to have to give the talent uh, engineer the, the talent mercenary whatever you want to call him I'm going to have to give him another go might do another test drive video uh, might not even wait to uh, take him on with the video guys I might literally just do another test drive video see what um, all the buffs are done there's a lot of buffs he got uh, all uh, you know helping him recharge uh, just break off for a second guys that was me I, the, the atlas had melee so he was ready to sink kill but I needed to charge and just slip out before he can grab me that's the Asari's dodge um, but no, like, uh, yeah. So he's he's got he's got he's got all this extra recharge speed on his bow. So he's going to make um, he's going he's going to generate his own grenade a a ammunition faster than it, uh, than anybody. Well, he, nobody else does it, but he, faster than ever. And he's uh, doing a lot more damage with his bow. So yeah, he could be a much more fun character to play. So I'm going to give him a go. Uh, you might see another test drive video. That's all I'm going to give you a shout out there. But there was a lot of um, a lot of changes in the uh, balances. Actually, there was a ton. Um, trying to remember them now. Actually, what was there? Oh yeah, there, there was. That was it. There was there was a ton of stuff done to. Um, obviously, they did nerf the uh, alliance. Infiltration unit in the end. I knew they would. Absolutely knew they would. But no, she's not broken, guys. You can still go ahead and use that te the video I used in my test drive. That video. Use the build I used in my test drive video. That's going to work fine. It just basically it's not going to be as easy, but it, it's still going to be pretty easy. <laughs> um, but the, another one they did is they did uh, they did some buffs to the collector adept, and unfortunately they weren't the buffs I was hoping to see. Um, they just weren't actually because they, they they worked on essential mode. Um, essential mode did need a buff. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it was a, there was a lot of penalties uh, for very little buffs. To be honest, you like you took like 40% more damage and you had like, like a five or 15% uh, damage increase. Um, that was just it was kind of lousy, but I w I still did promote using Ascension Mode in my test drive video because he does have a lot of power damage. If you got all those power damage bonuses were there for you. No, oh, this turret refuses to die. <laughs> yeah, there was a, there was a ton there. So when you're working with such a large figure, uh, five percent of a large figure is still a decent figure. So the addition was nice, but now it's vastly superior. But um, I've, as I've mentioned before, now the real problem I've discovered with the collector adept um, is the fact that 
he's just his retard speed is what cripples him. He's just too slow of at uh, priming. He can detonate real quick, but his priming is just snail speed, and he, he just can't keep up with the, the far more efficient um, adepts. So I was really kind of hoping because there's no need for it as well. It's not like his by his by explosions are just so godly that they need to be tamed. Uh, it's the, the, he they need a buff. There's no need for both his uh, dark sphere and his uh, swarms to be like ten seconds in with a recharge speed. That's ridiculous. So I really hope we get another buff to him on his recharge speed because. Um, I'm still playing around with him, and there's very likely to be a change with his build. I mean, you know, if I play with anybody who knows what they're doing, uh, it's just I'm not going to be able to keep up with my build, unfortunately. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and, you know, it feels... It is it is fun, but it does not keep up, unfortunately. So, uh, the only re I might go back to... I might stick with my guns, because I, I stumbled across that build, and I was going for more damage over time you know I was fully specking out Dark Sphere and Dark Channel at the time just doing a ton I was just that's what I was planning to just pile them up and just melt the enemies that way but um and I think I might have to give it a go give that a try might slap on some incendiary ammo and just burn more often and you know, just do a ton of dot uh, that's what they just call it for shot for shot for short <laughs> no need to shorten that um the problem is I have with like a damage over time build is they're just really not that fun, are they? Uh, let's be honest, because <laughs> there's no real feedback in damage over time. The enemy are just marching on. Their 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 health bars whittling down and all that kind of good stuff. You're getting the kills and all that, but it's like you you're not seeing them bounce around. There's no you're not seeing them shake or you know writhe in pain or anything. They just walk until they drop. And it's like it's hollow. It's it's kind of hollow. So I I really would prefer if my build was just more workable because at the moment, to be honest, guys, if you want to be an efficient collector of death, you really want to kind of go for damage over time. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna give it another go, and I, I'm I'm pretty confident that's gonna work. To be honest, uh, there's no reason why it shouldn't. <laughs> like there really isn't. I'm going to speed over here now because Don was having a bit of trouble, and I'm going to find out why because it's just Turret City. It's the problem with uh, Cerberus. They just give them a give them half a chance, and they will just put turrets all over the place. And on large maps, they'll gun you from all over the place as well. They they really can take control of the map, Cerberus. You got to watch yourself. Um, but yeah, damage over time builds are kind of dull, to be honest. In um. In what you get out of the game, uh, it's the same reason I don't play platinum, guys. It really is because uh, that's what you're dealing with. You're just dealing with these um, these big clunky, uh, huge health enemies that you just have to whittle down. There's you don't get to like send them flying and they'll set them on fire and free all this good feet fun stuff. You know all this activity, all this um, animation uh, going on. It's just it is just a grind. It really is. Um, Although, you know, I, I can play Platinum. It's like I said, the, I, the problem with Platinum is, yeah, it's a bit harder. There's there's some challenge to be found. It is harder whether you like it or not, just because the enemies hit harder and all that stuff. And it is, the bosses just do uh, take their toll on you. Um, but... Uh, it's not a, it's not the kind of it's not a rewarding challenge. It doesn't grab it doesn't grab it doesn't grab me. I don't find the I don't. It's like I love all the the credits are great, but I don't leave the game feeling satisfied. I, I literally feel like I farmed, or I, you know, I, I it felt like I was playing for the credits, and that's really what I am when I'm playing with platinum. But there are some advantages if I were, were to do some platinum gameplay. If you guys wanted to see that, I mean, that would allow me to show you how my builds work against all enemy factions at once, rather than you guys having to just simply take my word for it. So you know, if you do want to see platinum gameplay, let me know. Um, I will do it, but. I am happier in gold, and this is why. I mean, watch these guys fly. You can't do that with an atlas. <laughs> you can't just. You can't charge in and send them rocketing with a lift grenade like that. And boo to fight them because you don't get that much fun. There's some like uh, great trash waves. I think it's like wave seven uh, in platinum games where there's just they call these uh, these enemies that aren't bosses trash. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, uh, uh, yeah. There's, and there's just a lot of them. It's like one boss on the field, and you just get to deal with a lot of them. Uh, yeah, they're my favourite waves in Platinum, to be honest. Uh, I would much prefer it if Platinum would really just kept, get, kept, kept the same balance that you got with Gold, but just really just brought in some really super tough enemies. I mean, hit hard and take damage. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope um, I've 
I haven't really discussed um, the map or the Asari uh, for a while now, and we're almost done. Um, I hope you can see f there. Look, that's me charging a phantom, nading the phantom. It's all over. I don't need stasis. I got so much crowd control with just everything I've got here, and it's all and all my power bonuses are just pa you know they're all just collecting up, and I'm just doing a ton of power damage. I can wreck spawns and you know, groups of enemies in seconds. It's all really good stuff. And, uh, you know, this, the, I've, I've gone around and I've started nuking a couple of spawns this map. Let's, let's talk about those. Um, really, the best thing you can do for this map is hold one side, b between the waves, before the wave starts. Just literally hold one side of the map and the enemy are going to spawn on the other side. And then you can just rush in and take them out. Um, literally, the, you've, got, um, you've got LZ and then you've got the opposite side to LZ. And the enemy will spawn in the two corners in because uh, London's essentially it's a cross, it's like a it's a T shape. Um, and on both sides they're going to fall. On both ends there they're going to just spawn in the two corners there. Uh, so you know you can just rush them, take them out. It's like if you got people drifting around in the middle, that kind of mess starts to mess things up, and the enemy start appearing in the middle of the map. Then they go to. Um, they go to the left where I am. From where I am now, they go on the opposite side than over there on the left. And they'll spawn at the back where that ammo box is. Or they'll go up on the balcony right in the corner at the top of those uh, stairway. Top of the stairway in that like, run-down office. But see, look, I, I was in the middle of the enemy here. I'm just going to take out two missiles here to just clear them all out. Because I can. <laughs> i got six missiles now. Oh, yeah. Just uh, wipe out that spawn like that. But yeah, literally, they'll just spawn in these corners on either side, depending on where your team is. That's what I recommend for you to do. Obviously, it's quite hard to uh, get like teamwork, which we couldn't with these pugs and stuff. But um, what I recommend you do is uh, keep an eye on where people are and just try and stand on the same side of the map as them. And then you can get the enemy on one side and just rush in and take them out. Because they'll spawn in this office, they'll spawn at the very, in, you know, where all that, those archways are. They're just in the court, literally the far corners. And you can just shoot a nade at the corner. You don't even need to shoot it into the spawn. Shoot at the corner, the area effect damage of the missile is just going to wipe out that spawn. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. There was some stuff I covered in the original video. I really want to try and bring it back up again, actually, because um, it was obviously worthwhile mentioning before. Um, so bear with me as I try to jog my memory. But you, know, you can see what's going on here. It's literally just charging and throw grenades. And once I've done my charge, my, my grenades are powered up then for 10 seconds afterwards. So I don't need to charge again. Uh, it's like um, I, this is one of those uh, few vanguards that can actually attack from a distance. I really can. I can help with uploads and all that kind of good stuff. I can just stay in the upload and just throw grenades out at the enemies and completely uh, wreck them all. Um, the only and you know they'll essentially they'll might strip my shields and stuff. And that's like the worst thing they can do because that means I'm charging in and I'm coming for them. And then my grenades are powerful again. And I mean they're powerful without the charge, but they're going to be even more so when that happens. So. Yeah, you just go and you wreck. You've got the loads of crowd control, loads of aggro you can absorb uh, just because of the way the Asaris are and just a ton of damage you can put out. But yeah, you can see how I've just... The, the, there's been no real issue with Phantoms apart from ones that catch me off guard, really, or shoot me in the back, uh, to be honest. Because I, this is why I, I let Stasis go. I mean, before, yeah, I needed it because they... They would get you. They, you know, you couldn't stagger them, and charging them in was a death. Charging into a phantom without stagger is a death sentence. And uh, well, now I, now that's not an issue. I can stagger her every single time. Um, obviously, not only um, I did what was I was saying earlier with the whole trying might do another test drive video with the uh, Talon Mercenary. I'm still playing with them. Um, all the new reckoning characters are trying to really get something I'm going to be happy to just sort of pill, put into this uh, video guide series, you know, the final one. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still playing for fun. I'm not just doing these videos. Um, I'm trying to unlock the guns as well, and I want the reckoning banner. I mean, I've got every single other one. Well, you might as, might as well finish it off and get a complete set now. Go completionist on this on these guys. So yeah, um, you know, I'm I'm playing around. I'm getting new guns. I'm you know, I, I hopefully. By the time I get to the reckoning, guys, hopefully I'll have something completely new and uh, to see. But I'll be honest with you, I think <laughs> Edie's going to stay the same, but everybody else could change. Although I've got, um, I'm quite in a comfortable place in my juggernaut now too. 
Okay, this is Extraction Wave. Um, this is the rule breaker. Extraction Wave is actually a really good idea to hold the balcony because, you know, I guess for all the reasons, uh, all the the pros I gave earlier, you've got the great vantage point. You're gonna, the enemy are gonna have to slowly trek up to them, and then basically when it's time for you guys to go, you can literally just dip out real quick. There's loads of jump off spots like the one I'm standing in front of now. Just dip out, go to LZ, and those things are gonna, they're all gonna have to rush down the stairs and everything after you. I'm gonna go to Dom's aid here. Dom's rocking the Geth infiltrator with the piranha, so he's just out <laughs> chewing, uh, chewing through the enemy's armor and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 gonna do this. I I could be out there doing some damage as well. But I really I actually wanted to show you guys like the, a good strategy for surviving London extraction. This is a really great. This is the best place to hold. And because you're not here forever, you know this is the end of the game. You don't have to worry about running out of ammo. And like I got I've I got a lot of thermal clips left, despite all the grenade spamming I've been doing. So I am just going nuts with them. To be honest, I'm just bombing phantoms from up here because I can. You probably want to leave at about like 20 seconds, to be honest, but we're going to go a bit earlier, just because, um, I, th I, I you know, I think, uh, the, the phantom, there's a lot of phantoms on extraction, and there's, they're putting on some pressure, and plus I, I didn't want to run the chance of there being like a turret and stuff all over LC, so I just came here to make sure it's all clear. I'm not going to play games with the Atlas, just take him out of the picture, and then we're just going to sort of bunker down here now. But this is like, just like with the upload here, I don't need to get stuck into the thick of it here, I can just bomb. Um, I can. I, I don't need to go in until if they strip my shields, I'll charge them, and then they're going to get hit even harder. So, <laughs> wouldn't recommend it, bad guys. But yeah, we're wrapping up here. I think I covered everything. I don't think I even missed stuff from the last video. I think I got it all there. <clears throat> And that's the Asari Vanguard as well. <laughs> okay, um, that's London Asari Vanguard. Oh no, that's something I remembered. The um, the accommodation weapons now, they're ultra res, which uh, Grunt was very happy about because the store's awfully good to him, but I'm really upset. I was actually doing really well with my accommodation weapons, getting them maxed out, but now they're just ultra res that are probably going to be forever out of my reach now. Hmm. There we go, never mind. I've still got a decent hurricane at this point. Uh, <laughs> don't cry for me. But that also kind of suggests that there might not be any more weekend challenges, guys. I think that last big one with Platinum might have been it. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, I think we're just... We, hopefully we'll still get balance changes, because like I said before, we really want to see some changes done to the uh, collector. But there you go. There's the scores, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.